So this is like a little bit of a, a fireside chat, you know, a la Ken Wheeler, the angry photographer. Anyway, it's been, uh, it's been over a year, more than a year since I posted a video and uh, figured I would get back to it. I'm having myself a little uh, Ardbeg Wee Beastie. Isla Scotch, uh, very smoky, very good, if you like Scotch. Uh, just kind of an update, so kind of kind of done with film, you know, F film at this point. I do have, I should say, three more rolls, so I got a roll of uh, Pan F plus, you know, the Ilford 50 in 120 and still some Delta 400, 120, pretty standard stuff, especially the Delta 400. And then I have a 35 millimeter roll of this. I also did shoot my last roll of Kodak. So Kodak's gone up quite a bit. This is a T, uh, T Max 400. It's a good film. Need to get that developed. Shot that through my Bronica, <clears throat> which I've also sold or I'm in the process of selling. Uh, it's been shipped off to our friends at uh, B&H. Or sorry, uh, not B&H, KEH. So uh, hopefully I'll get uh, kind of the appropriate amount from their, their online quote, did their instant quote uh, based off the condition. And I'm hoping they kind of live up to what their uh, online instant quote was. Uh, in either case, uh, I'm kind of done with that. I do have, uh, for these last two rolls of 120, I have my old, uh, my grandfather's Rolly, uh, Rolly Flex. So I'll shoot these last two rolls through that, and then I'm basically done with that. This 35 millimeter roll will most likely go through my mother's F3. I do still actually have that Action Touch Nikon, that little kind of you know underwater camera. I wouldn't take it underwater because you know from the late 80s, I think. I don't trust that it would be sealed still. Uh, I had that WP1 that I was doing some underwater, or not even underwater, kind of splashing stuff in the pool. Uh, gave that away actually to someone, but uh, even that I didn't really trust, and I definitely wouldn't do it with the uh, action touch or whatever it's called. But I still have that. I might sell that. It's worth a lot. It's, you know, I bought it new in box, at a really good deal a long time ago. Uh, film, film is too expensive. You know, this is my last ro roll of Kodak. <clears throat> I, uh, I can't justify the cost. It's just too much money, and it's too much of a hassle, and I just don't think the image quality is there, to be honest. Like, sure, the, the colors are special, and you can't mimic that with digital. I get it, and that's what, kind of why I got back into it. And, you know, I still look back at these negative you know, scans of negatives, and that's actually something I'll come back to, the scans of negatives of, you know, pictures when I was a child, and they're interesting and have something special about them. But the whole film was meant to be printed and that's what it was you know growing up you know in the 80s and 90s we, we printed pictures even up until right around 2000 and this whole scanning and then printing is just trash it's not as good it's not the same thing uh, it doesn't look as good it's a hassle it's a pain in the neck and I'm just I'm kind of over it and this the cost and everything's insane I should have held on to some of these film cameras longer and sold them now because they've skyrocketed in value you know those uh I've had a class S and a class W that I picked up each of them separately for three to four hundred dollars each at different times, and I sold them both for almost you know seven hundred bucks, and now they're like twelve hundred dollars. It's complete insanity. So this whole like obsession with film and kind of hipster stuff, I'm kind of over it. I'm kind of uh, f film at this point. It was fun. Uh, I'm I'm just not into it anymore. So yeah, I'll shoot these last rolls, and then I do actually still have kind of a backlog. So I shot uh, this Delta 400 35 millimeter FP4 35 millimeter and uh, Delta 3200 and 120. Don't believe I've posted a video on any of these. Uh, I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure I may have done a video on this FP4. I think if that was the video in Fort Bragg, but I have to double check. So whatever unique role that I hadn't posted a video on before, I will 
you know, kind of do one of my normal videos where I talk a little bit and mostly kind of like, I don't necessarily tabletop it, but show you the, show you the whole role, all exposures. I think, honestly, I'm convinced it was FP4 that I did with my XA, but uh, I'll get that done. And then uh, I've sold basically every, like I said, I sold everything. I sold the XA, I sold the XA4, uh, everything, you know, the Bronica, hopefully, like I said, I'll They'll give me what, you know, I think it's worth, what their their quote said. I looked at eBay, but, it's, you know, it's kind of a hassle, so I'm going to kind of take KEH. Everyone recommends KEH, so I'll take them up. But uh, that would kind of be it. And then I'm hoping there's some interest in digital photography from the same subscribers to this channel. We'll see. Uh, I have digital cameras, obviously. I used to shoot uh, the Fuji X-Pro1 and then later the X-T1. At this point, the only Fujis I have left, oh, and I had an X100S for a while, uh, X70 for a while, that was a really cool camera. I wish it had done good video and then it would have, I would have kept it. But uh, the issue with those early Fujis was the, the lack of good video, so I later moved to the X-H1, love it, been using it a lot uh, for kind of trips and just stuff and it's video. This is, this is with the X-H1, obviously, my last few videos that I posted like, you know, a year ago before I stopped. We're all XH1 with a turnout. It just looks great. You don't need to do anything. I don't I don't do grading. I'm not into that stuff. It's just not my style. I don't I don't have I don't care. I just like Fuji's because it just comes out good. You don't have to edit it. And a turnout just looks great. So I have the XH1 and then I got the XE3 a little bit after that and that's a great kind of compact camera, especially with the 27 millimeter. I use that a lot. It's kind of like the size of the X, X100S-ish, but, you know, cheaper and simpler. And you can change lenses. I like shooting it with other lenses, too. So uh, those are my Fujis. And then I actually, you guys may remember, I had some videos where I talked briefly about, you know, I had a, a D700 Nikon for a while. I sold that. I bought that used, sold it used. But uh, I had a Leica ME. For a while and that was cool but it had sensor corrosion as usual got a little bit of a refund from the seller because of it but thought i would you know send it to leica to get the sensor replaced they didn't do that anymore so they ended up giving me credit towards another camera so i bought a, a the monochrome at the time the m246 if you're into the leica ridiculous you know numbering systems but uh it's it was like the m240 monochrome the previous monochrome. There's now an M10, an M10 monochrome. So I have that, and uh, that's kind of it. Those are my three uh, digital cameras that I'm using. The Leica for, you know, the it's monochrome. It, it just takes really good. The J, I'm a JPEG shooter, and it's uh, black and white JPEGs just look amazing. So uh, I can post some videos about that if there's interest. And uh, Fuji, you know, I use it. For just general photography, the XE3 a lot, honestly, with the 27, like for just little family stuff and trips and just going out. It's small. It's, you can fit it in a jacket pocket, honestly, and uh, it's really good. So I can post some stuff about that, and then, you know, if you guys are into whiskey and scotch, I can post about that. Uh, I'm hoping there's some interest and people don't just bail on me. I don't want to do a photo universe on you guys and just kind of give up on what the content was but you know i'm kind of over film so that won't be really on this channel other than like i said the maybe a few catch-up videos and then i got that exposed role and three more roles so there's four unexposed role or sorry undeveloped roles that need to get videos and then i'll i'll do videos on the roles that i have that i already got scans back that i uh didn't do one on because it's just interesting but that's kind of the end of uh Rediscover film. That's why I just changed. I just removed that custom channel name. This was my original channel name. It just has no real relevance. Something uh, I came up with. So it would kind of be more random. And, you know, I don't know, maybe you guys into Swiss Army knives I could do videos on that stuff. Just other stuff. So hopefully some of you guys hang around. And uh, that's kind of it. But. Uh, if you only came here for the film, maybe stick around for the last few videos and I don't know, it's a possibility I could do something later, but I don't see it. The only thing that could happen is I might scan some old uh, 
some old negatives of my mother's because I have all of my my mother passed away a few years ago and I have all of her negatives but I'm I'm not planning to buy any more films so this this is kind of it so I want to kind of give you guys a catch up on where the hell I've been you know during the lockdowns got a little fatter got a little uh, longer beard <laughs> that's kind of it just like everybody else you know just kind of coming along here and uh, going to the motions, so hopefully you guys stick with me. Cheers. Uh, hopefully get another video up soon.